What it do, y'all? Let's get into it. We ain't about to waste no time, man. Hey, hey, hey. That boy Davis out there in that cyber truck. I'm gonna have to go get me a cyber truck, man. I ain't gonna cap. I'm gonna rent a couple of them just so we can drive them down the street back to back. Me and my homies. You know what I mean? We ain't trying to own it. Definitely not. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? It's a great truck, but you know. <laughs> you know. That junk is a eye catcher. You know what I mean? So it ain't it ain't you know it ain't it ain't like the Tesla. It's the Cybertruck. So when you see one of these, you, you gonna turn your head. You gonna turn your head. You know what I'm saying? It's worse than a Hellcat. <laughs> it's worse than a hell. You're gonna turn your head. Like big old truck coming down, you're gonna be like, what is that? Every time. That's like seeing a cuddling, seeing a Rolls Royce. You gonna be like, what is that? Seeing a Bentley, you like, is that a Bentley? Is that a Ferrari? It's the same thing. Same action. You're going to get that same action. So me personally, I'm giving me a little Tesla thing just so that way, you know what I'm saying? People ain't just trying to peek in my my car and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? The Cybertruck, man, I'm telling you now, they know you got to be having big action going on, some big motion going on. You you driving one of them or you pulling up in one of them or, or you purchase one of them, you got to have some big motion going on for sure. Not just the average person going to buy this type of truck. So let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. That boy Davis, obviously, I don't think he bought one. I think he will. I, I think he would, and I think he will. I don't think he did yet. You feel me? Picking up Uber robbers in a cyber truck. Okay, let's find out though. He might have though. He might have though. Do a do a look do a look custom. Do a look custom. <laughs> Come on, Davis. Let's see how they enjoy the cyber truck, especially with the speed and everything like that. In the last four years. There's been no car I've wanted more than the Cybertruck. I mean, I pre-ordered this thing the moment it came out. Oh. Now, four years later, it kind of came out. Let me explain. Only Tesla employees and celebrities have been spotted driving this thing. There's very few of them right. on the road, so if you run into one, it's literally like seeing an eighth one. But since I'm such a fiend, I've been doing research over the last few weeks, and I actually found a Tesla employee who was renting them out. The question okay. is, is this real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll rent it out. I'm gonna be honest with you, me waking up catching the flight with a one day notice because an alleged Tesla employee is gonna let me drive an unreleased vehicle. Definitely not my best decision, but I have trust in people. I believe some people are good people. We went to the location the Cybertruck was supposed to be at, and when I tell you we see absolutely nothing, we see nothing. This is a parking lot, and we're just searching through hundreds of cars and to no avail. <laughs> Wait, that's a Tesla Model Y. We thought someone hit the okie doke on us. Is this a Tesla Model Y instead of a Cybertruck? We look into a car that we're, we're getting dropped off at. I'm sorry. And after about 10 minutes of searching, <laughs> right? He's like, what are we doing? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that one, the one that looks like a, a prism. Oh <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Wow. That's my amazing. goodness. My. Yo. I'm, I'm having a moment. Hey, hey, hey. Davis, those jeans are ugly. I'm going to let you know that right now. He definitely on his Kanye West. I don't give a type of style. And then secondly, why didn't y'all drive y'all own car? Why didn't you drive y'all own car? They took an Uber there. I mean, you, you finna get into the cyber truck. I get that part. Are you free to rent the cyber truck out for a week? Or are you just using it for this day? Because then you got to bring it back and then you have to call for another a ride when you can just have your own car there. Eh, maybe he didn't trust his own car being there. Okay. All right, whatever. Hey, 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 I'm having a moment. Hey, hey, hey. I thought he just said he trusts people. There's some good people out here. You can't just... Eh, all right, all right. Hey, I'm having a moment. Let me rock. Oh, my goodness, man. <laughs> my dreams are finally come true, bro. Come in, come in, people, come in, people. Alright, is this it? Why is it open? Come on in, people. Let me show you to Oh, what? It's supposed to just be Yo, open. This is actually literally what is the basic. Tell me if it's not the two route thing. This is insane, bro. Okay. He's not operating. It's to not crash. Because he got his own Tesla, so it should be good. You can't tell me this is not dope. It's kind of crazy. This is actually very much insane. It's kind of crazy. This is very much insane. Oh, my goodness. Alright, first thing I got to do is drive this thing. And most importantly, 
I'm gonna see the public reaction to this thing because, like I said, this car is not even out. Like, no normal humans have this. Now, mind you, I have one of the earlier reservations for the Cybertruck, so I can literally get this car within the next few weeks. The question is, should I actually get it? So sit back and relax, and let's see if uh, this is actually a good car. Let's do it. How you guys doing? Y'all rock with the V? Y'all yeah. fuck with the V, man? What's up? You, you fuck with the vehicle? Nah, you just sliding in that bitch, huh, bro? <laughs> I'm about to take off, nigga. See, you sliding, bro. I'm about to take off, man. Let me see something, bro. You want to see something? I got you, my boy. <laughs> hey, everybody can get behind seeing a nice new car, man. man. All right, time to hit the streets, baby! Oh, yes, man. Oh, my goodness, it's moving! This right here might be the most useless thing I've seen. What the fuck? <laughs> this might be the most useless thing I've seen. That's a good joke, man. We will go to test Right. Why didn't they put a mirror right there? Like, not a mirror, but why did they put a, a, a camera? It just doesn't make any sense. Any car I can't see through the back. I'm just like, bro, you got to be kidding me right now. I'd be at the dealership tripping out. Like, y'all better put me a reverse camera. I need, I need the mirror to be reverse camera. I need all of that. Before before the car is gonna leave the the you know what I'm saying before it even get off the lot before they start talking some crazy stuff I need everything to be perfect you know what I'm saying I need brand new tires I don't want no used tires I don't want the tires that have been on the car since y'all brought it into the shop and everybody been driving it around on the streets they don't burnt the tires out no I need brand spanking new tires I need the car detailed make sure y'all wash that motherfucker you feel me. People got their hair all in there, dust, all their body dust and all. Man, man, hey, man, make sure my thing is right. <laughs> Let's go to the domain. We're going to go to the mall and flex on niggas first, bro. This is definitely the most unique driving experience. Not only is the interior very spaceship-like, but this thing gets the most attention out of any car I've ever had. It's so cool. Oh, thank you. It's so dope. Yeah, I'm thinking about returning it. Yeah, I just feel like you can't really park. This is nice. I, I didn't say you could get in. No. <laughs> This thing is an absolute you left door, huh? for attention. Oh my god! You said, you said, you said what? You said what? Nice. I gotta take a selfie of this. I gotta take Maybe a selfie of this. I need one. Man, this is the shit. It's just so simple. Oh, me, it's the shit, ma'am. It is the shit. <laughs> this car was so crazy that I was literally convinced that I could Uber people without them having a ride. No, like, no joke at all. I'm about to literally just show up to people and say, hey, do you want to Uber ride in a Cybertruck? And I'm going to take them to their destination. All right, y'all, so we better find people to for, to take from their jobs and just take for a spin because this is an unreleased car that's probably the most hyped car in human history. So I know people are going to want to drive it. I need to steal somebody from their job and right. take them to a location. They're going to write, I'm supposed to do that. All right? <laughs> I'm about to kidnap this nigga this construction nigga that just broke his neck i'm about to kidnap him from his job and uber him i just want to spread joy to people man what's going on man how you doing Hey man, let me take you for a spin. Man, let me take you for a spin, man. Work right now, hey. Hop in this bit, bro. I'm in, right around the corner, bro. Come on, man. Man, I wish I could, man. I'm at work, man. I don't want them to say nothing, man. I feel it, bro. Let me know if you trying to go for a spin. I got you. I know you trying to go for a spin, Unc. Hell yeah. Hop in this bitch. Where you trying to go, OG? Just right around the corner. Yeah, put pedal to the metal. Nah, you don't have to do it. You do whatever you want. You don't have to do it. You do whatever you want. Too, though. Yeah, you want me to, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. His whole hat flew up. Don't right oh, okay. I like it. I like it. Hold on. I'm gonna put the, the pedal to the metal, Uncle. If you want, I got you. When we hit this corner, I'm gonna really apply that pressure, all right? All right. I gotta be honest with you. Right? The reason, the only reason I got this, this shit, because mm -hmm. I stole it. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you ride, you ride with a brother from the hood, boy. Hey, man, my brother said, let me show you how to cut out. I was real crazy. Let me show you how to. Yeah. <laughs> we going crazy. Hey, we're going crazy. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, we're going crazy. ATX, baby. ATX. Yes, sir. <laughs> you represent. Hey, hey we, got the new, we got the new uh, cyber truck. We got the new cyber truck in Austin, Texas. <laughs> yeah, we test drivers. You know what I'm saying? No, so, no, no, no. It's not. It's not no, 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 no. Not to, it's stolen. Not no, to, oh, oh, we, we got it stolen. stolen. Oh, we got it stolen. We got it stolen. We got it stolen. All right, thank y'all. Hey, you enjoy it? Yeah, hell yeah, I did. Hell yeah, I did. I know. Hey, next time, baby, let me know something. I'm gonna be back here. Hop in, I'm giving out free rides. Awesome. Oh, we gotta go to work. Enjoy That's work then. Go for a ride. Yeah. Get in. Right now. I'm serious. Yeah. Get in right now. I'll take you out for a ride. Get in. Get in. Get in. Hurry. Hurry. Get in. Get in. Oh, get in. They're like, they like cap. Nigga, y'all the one who got the caps on y'all head. Davis ain't got no cap on his head. He got his hair out. Y'all the one with the caps on, the baseball caps on, capping. He ain't capping. Ah. Hey, this is good, Davis, bringing this joy to people. They they saying cap because they not used to people being 
nice actually allowing them to you know ride with them they don't people don't just be like yo get in the lambo bro get in the ferrari bro let me take you for a ride you know people don't just do that you know other than rappers you know what i'm saying we we, we bring the cars back to the hood and allow everybody to drive it and, and to experience it we, we let our, our moms drive a ferrari and shit you know go ahead yeah you, yeah, you can get, take the keys mom you know, and say, you know what i'm saying put the top down while you're driving that thing go have fun you know everybody else try to act all stuck up like they never had nothing before they try to act like they, they can't even let you see the keys to go to the, to the gas station. They think they think you can't drive. You know what I mean? They gaslight you because they can't drive. You know what I mean? They hit a couple potholes. They like, oh, nah, you ain't driving my car. It's like, man, it, the potholes is in the road. It ain't got nothing to do with people driving. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Especially in Atlanta. If y'all know, you know, it's potholes on every road. Literally. <laughs> As soon as as soon as they as soon as they fix the potholes, within a week the pothole is back. Within three two to three days the pothole is back. <laughs> you feel me? So at the end of the day, it it, it ain't always got to do with people driving. Sometimes sometimes the cars be messed up. I ain't gonna lie to you. We ain't gonna talk too much about that. Let's keep it going though. Hey man, they he finna take more people on the ride the cyber truck. Fire. I thought you was doing this in Atlanta, man. They in Texas right now. He said ATX in Texas. Now this nigga just abandoned his vehicle. He just abandoned his vehicle. This nigga just abandoned his vehicle. He just abandoned his vehicle. That's insane. Oh, uh, put a Lexi. Right, hey, uh, where you from? Hey, so keep it a thousand. You want me to put the pedal to the metal? You want me to put the metal to the pedal? Just drive, nigga. Y'all fuck with my new whip or no? Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Where we going? Where we going? Shit, where are we going? I'm y'all's Uber. Y'all just let me know. You choose a destination, bro. Me? How much y'all smoke today, man? No, we smoked a lot. <laughs> First of all, what's your blood so that we know like who who we with? Bro? Duke Duke Dennis. Nah, ain't no way, bro. He ain't said nah, ain't no way, bro. He already you know, and you you ain't you ain't got no vibes. You gotta stop doing that, bro. <laughs> you ain't got no vibes. Not even close. Not even close. It's just a, it's like it's a whole different persona, bro. Like dude walking in the room. It's like, oh, oh, all right, bet. Let me go ahead and grab my girl. Let me make sure everything's situated. <laughs> you know what I mean? Davis walking around. Oh, look at this goofy ass little kid. Look at this little kid. Ah, look at this baby. <laughs> you feel me? Dude walking around is like, hey, she, you, yeah, you looking at your girl, making sure she ain't looking over that. Or you just trying to make sure. You know she ain't gonna look at him. You know she ain't even gonna. You know what I mean? She ain't gonna do you disrespectful. She ain't gonna do that. But you just trying to make sure she ain't no fan, cause you know how that be. Nah, she ain't no fan. She good. She on my team. Man. You know what I'm saying? We good. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? Because nowadays, hey man, hey man, people people quick to switch up, and I ain't even gonna. I say people, so that means men and women. They quick to switch up, bro. They see something they like, and they quick to switch up, bro. That's so crazy. Hey, I'm a solid ass person, bro. Y'all solid out there. Most of y'all men out there are solid, man. We really think about it. We don't switch up, even when we. Cheat. We don't even switch up. We still rock with the main chick. You know what I'm saying? We just got a couple more on the side. You know what I mean? I got the main chick. I got the main course. She the chick, and I'm eat that thing up, right? Then on the side, I got the collard greens. You know what I'm saying? I got the girl with the macaroni and cheese. She got that. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. But again, I got the main, and I got two sides. You know what I'm saying? There ain't nothing wrong with that. They try to get you, they try to get you, you just got the meat, you got the main, they like, you can't have no sides. You ain't getting no greens, you ain't getting no cornbread, you ain't getting no macaroni, you ain't getting none of that. You don't, you better, you better not touch the yams. <laughs> they like, I, I can't get no yams, they like, you ain't getting no yams, you ain't getting no macaroni, you ain't getting that no more. All you get is the dry ass meat. Don't that sound lame? But they can get their cake. They gonna eat the cake too. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I can't even eat cake, bitch. I'm allergic to cake. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Again, like I said, Davis, your vibes is not there yet. You don't even dress the part. I think that's the main thing, though, is the way you dress. Counting on the way you dress is gonna count on the way you approach people, the way you act. If you had, like, more of you a suit collared up, white collared up, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you would act more like I do act. You do act like he collared up. 
even though he looked like a hood, you know what I'm saying? But he he got more. I don't know. To me, he got more manners than than all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? He really like. You know what I'm saying? He he upright. Like he's stable. You know what I'm saying? You, you can look at him and tell. Y'all just be all goofy and all literally and all just all. You know what I mean? But it's good though. That's what that's what brings all y'all together real good, man. That's what brings y'all together real good. Cause everybody can't be uptight and everybody can't be goofy, you know. So Davis got a little goofy in him. Kai and them got a little goofy in them. But then you know y'all able to break Duke down a little bit so he can get a little goofy, he can get a little laughs in. You know what I'm saying? Same with Agent, cause they they look like they don't. You know what I mean? They they laugh at stuff. Don't get me wrong, but they look like they more uptight. They they more like mature. If I, I guess that could be the word. Um. Uh, they've been through more life, you know what I mean. Um, nah, we ain't gonna say too Anyways, much. Man, I'm glad <laughs> we all went too far. Circle. I'm already going right exactly. We went too far. You're banning your car. Right? <laughs> My bad. Hey, you guys have a blessed one. I'm glad y'all got to enjoy the cyber truck experience. Yeah. Clap it up for the cyber truck, man. Clap it up, man. Yeah. I get some more people. Free ride for an employee discount. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I know you had to. I was really hoping that she would have got in the car. Not, not I thought she would. <laughs> She was looking. She was looking from all the way over there. I thought she was gonna get in, but you said discount. She like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. You should have just said free ride. Uber? Are you Uber? Yeah, you need an Uber. Yeah, I'll take you. All right, come on, get on in, buddy. Get in. Hey. Where are we going? Let's go. You like some college boys. Shout out Elon. Bro. Shout out Elon, man. Hey, if you guys don't know, uh, I'm not supposed to say it because, like, you know, he keeps it on the low. But uh, Elon is, like, yes, my my, my pop. He, like, you know, the one, the one, you know, the one black girl he was with. The one black girl he was with. Like, <laughs> I'm the product of that. So. Hey, there we go. Yeah. It is. Uh, where are you from, man? Yeah. Australia. Australia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Hell yeah, man. Hey, if you guys want me to, I can put the pedal to mouth. If not, I can keep you. I'm, I'm over. I'm happy to go for a drive, to be honest. So you want me to send it? Yeah. yeah. Send it. <laughs> Are you fucking mad, bro? Are you mad? Yeah, he did it too. <laughs> now, seriously, though, hey, but now tell me, tell me, tell me about life, guys. How, Put it in launch mode, man. The Put it in a cheetah stance. Yeah. Yeah. Whichever stance you got, I can't remember which one I got on the cyber truck. I'm glad, man. Hey, 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 hey. Excuse me, ma'am. Hey, no filming, please. No filming. Yeah, Elon's gonna beat my ass. <laughs> there is no room in that back seat. Y'all shoulders all are touching each other. I'd be so uncomfortable. There is no room in that backseat. That is crazy. There's three adults. They must be leg room though. It looks like he got some good leg room in the middle. But look how he hold it. <laughs> yeah, they all they like this. They in there like like some sardines right now. I ain't gonna lie. It look like he got some room for the leg room though. You know what I'm saying? But oh, he got hair room, definitely. All their hair sticking up. He definitely got lots of hair room. Nobody complained about that. So that's good. That's good. At least they got the leg and the head part good. So if you got somebody 6'10", you know what I'm saying? They can still fit in there. You know what I'm saying? They can sit in the back sometimes. You know what I mean? It's all good. Obviously, they sit in the front. But yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a nice truck, though. It's a nice truck. I just hate that it's just so different. It's not, it's like, when I say hate, it's a love-hate type of thin line type of thing Because it's like, it's so different that it's going to catch too many eyes And normally people say, that's a good thing, don't you want it? You know, no, that's not to me That is, it's so, I guess it's so bad that it's good You know what I mean? But to me, it's so bad I don't want people every time, every time, you know what I mean? Every time I get to a light, everybody just like Looking and I might have to put limo tin on the motherfucker. You feel me? Put limo tin on that thing, man. Every, every time somebody, somebody, but who driving that truck? Talking about like he asked me. You see, it's going on right now. They all looking at it. As soon as they see, they like, wait a minute, it's a cyber truck. Everybody just like, wait a minute. Hey, I'm just walking out the jet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of it, man? Oh, this is crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, when he got a pump on, y'all look like y'all got a pump on. You see in his arms, look the veins popping out. Y'all look like you did did enough though. Look like you should have went in a little bit more. But I can see it. All y'all was getting a little pump on. Okay, now nah, he ain't doing enough. Look, look, you can't even, he ain't even popping out. You, I, I can see you. You got the broad shoulders and stuff. Both of them in it. Hey, you need to do a little bit more. You bigger than both of them. You got to do more than them. You got to do two more sets more than them. Because you bigger. So you need to, hey, you need to be an animal. You feel me? You pick both of them up by their neck and just hold them like that Undertaker style. You got to be an animal, man. Get it, get in a little bit more than what they, whatever they do, do a little bit more, bro. 
Trust me, because you bigger, you taller, and you're going to have to work the muscles out a little bit more. They over here doing 60s. Ah, ah, I can do 60s. I know y'all can do 60s. Ah, ah, you need to, hey, nigga. You, my bad. White man, you need to be, white boy, you need, my bad. You need to be doing uh, 75s. Ah, ah, my homie do 75s. So I know you can do 75. That's too easy. I can do a little bit, maybe once or twice. <laughs> I haven't dated a, a single line since I've had I got 60s right here. I got big 60s right here. I don't want to invade it. If I have your permission, I, I can floor it one more time. Floor this guy. Yeah? Floor this guy. Please do not report my Uber account. It's just no, like I, you know, you know. Right here. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm doing my shit, man. What do y'all do around here in Austin? I'm gonna be honest. You know, I pass it out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I, I do sell a little bit of uh, drugs. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Quite quietly. There we go. It's quietly. It's not too heavy. But like, if you guys want some, <laughs> you know, only on a Tuesday afternoon at five thirty in a cyber. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, when I used to drive Uber and Lyft, I definitely, they like, can we smoke here? I'm like, uh, it don't matter, do your thing. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm like, yeah, as long as I can hit that thing, you can do your thing. <laughs> I might have my own little thing roll. That's back when I used to go crazy, but I might have my own little thing roll. I was like, uh, I like shit. I was I was trying to see. I was, hey, I was I was finna blow down my own. I was just trying to make sure it was cool with you. Like I'm trying to make sure it's cool with them. I'm like, man, I was planning on blowing down anyway. I was gonna wait until you got out the car, but since you asked, yeah, we might as well go ahead and have a little session. Where you where you headed to? Yeah, all right, I'm finna drop you off. It's not about twenty minutes. Let's go ahead. Let me go ahead. And I was, man, I was the best Uber driver, bro. Uber slash Lyft driver, bro. I ain't gonna count. Everybody loved. They this is to the point where. Y'all know when people ask you for your, see, and some of y'all don't even know it because y'all ain't good Uber drivers or Lyft drivers, but they ask you for your number. They like, yo, can I call you? Like, you know what I mean? If they want it for, they like outside of Uber, Lyft, they want it for personal reasons. They like, yo, I need, I need, I need a cash ride. And they like, yo, you, you coming on time. You coming in clean. You got me there quick, fast, um, safely. I definitely always got people there safely. I don't know when I'm driving with people in the car, I be having a little, a little bit of anxiety. I ain't going to count. When I drive with people, like, I'm not scared. I know I ain't gonna crash, but I'm feeling the other person's energy. You feel me? I feel other people's energy, so I'm feeling that energy. I'm like, bro, I'm like, why is my arm shaking right now? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I've been driving my whole entire life. I can drive good as a mug. Why am I feeling this way? It's because the person next to me, <laughs> you feel me? Or because me personally, when I was driving Uber and Lyft, I told them to get in the front seat. I'm like, I don't like people behind me because I've been in different situations. So I'm like, I don't like people sitting behind me, sit next to me. They like sit in the front. I'm like, yeah, I don't even want it feeling like feeling like some passenger type delivery type. This ain't this ain't that. Sit in the front. So I feel like, yo, it's a, it's a good connection. And you my homie or whatever case may be. I only had one person. At like 200, 300 people when I was driving. I ain't drove, I ain't drive for too long. But I only had one person that was like, nah, I'll just sit in the back. I was like, cool, whatever. That that person too, that, that car ride was silent. It was boring. I don't like car rides like that. Then that's what I'm saying. I don't like that. Then when they got their headphones in and they don't want to talk and it's just nothing. I don't, I don't, I don't even like that. I'm like, yo, get in the front, yo, put your ox in, Bluetooth, which you know what I'm saying, play your music. I'm finna get you there safely. Let do, let rock it. You feel me? You go ahead and do your makeup, whatever else you gotta do. Blase, blase. You know, people be having little stuff they gotta do. I'm like, but don't make me feel like I'm doing a job, like I'm, I'm working. Cause then I only do about four or five rides, or I do like six to eight rides, and then I'm ready to to, to stop. It's only midday though. I can obviously I can do eight more and I can get double pay. But at this point, the ride's been so boring. I ain't really, you know what I mean. I don't like rides like that. I had to literally make my rides fun. Like you know what I mean. I'm I'm telling them, yo, if you you need me to, I'll stop by the store. I do all that. Even if they don't even have it on the ride, they like, yo, you can stop by the store. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I got you. You know what I mean. I was doing all of that, bro, because I felt like me being a person who also rides on Ubers and Lyft is like I know what I would want. So I'm gonna give people what they want. I still got my accounts too, y'all. I just I just ain't got a uh, a personal car to add on there. I have cars I can add on there, like, but I don't have a personal car that I can add on there currently. And that's the only reason why I don't drive Uber right now, cause I definitely that was fun. 
I used to love, it don't matter what time it was, it could be like right now, right now, it's 4 a.m., going on 4.30, I can just hit my Uber app, I go to the, I go to Atlanta Airport, I go downtown, I go to Atlanta Airport most time, and I hit the Uber app, boom, they like $25 ride, $30 ride, I'm like, oh, hey, let's go, got people waking up, uh, today's Sunday, so people waking up for church, Mondays, Tuesdays, people waking up for school, we got to drop the kids off, all that, man, that was, that was fun, bro. You know what I mean? I had a fun time doing all of that. I'm not going to lie. I love picking up people from the airport because that'd be, that'd be, sometimes I'm be like $40, $50 rides because sometimes they're going from the airport to north side, west side, south side. You know what I mean? They're going further out. So it's like, okay, bet. I got you. But yeah, I kind of, I kind of, yeah, I'm going to have to get back into uh, doing a little cash rides. I do cash rides sometimes, but you know, I want, I need, I need, I need, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure it's a real cash hey, 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 no pictures, please. No pictures, please. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's taking taking pictures. Thank you. My dad gave it to me. Yeah. That's Uber driver. Yeah, my dad gave it to me. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go, Uber driver. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get the people outside, man. What's up, boys? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> they like what? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> they like, what? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> they like, what? I told you. I told you. They like, what? I told you. I knew. I know it because that's their that's the effect. That's what I'm saying. It don't matter where you at. Everybody's gonna be like, "What is that?" Like, yes, every time, yes. No, they circle now. Thank you, man. It's a pleasure, man. You've been the best. Thank you. How's How much gas you got left? You rode around the whole day. So, uh, <laughs> of course, dude. Let's do it. Let's nice meet you guys. Wow, you too. Hey, what's the name of you guys, Frat? It looks, it looks aerodynamic. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, fucking on the Alright, so we just went into the coolest frat. I don't get her care. If you go to University of Texas. ZBT. ZBT. And if you go to University of Texas, I don't care. That's the best frat house ever. Uber? <laughs> it's free. This is a free Uber. It was called here. Uh, I'm supposed to pick up the next person. You don't want a free ride in the cyber truck, nigga? <laughs> you know what I mean, buddy? Stranger danger, I know. Stranger danger, I know. Come on in. It's Davis, man. Yeah, get in the car, man. What is he going to do? No. Nah. Hey, it's an Uber, man. Get on in. Trust me, I'm not going to kidnap you. I'm in a cyber truck. It's all right. Like, oh, exactly. Like, right. I mean, you're the Uber, so you tell me. I don't know. Las Vegas. What the hell? What? <laughs> <laughs> Las Vegas, he trying to pick him up something. Hey, where were you heading to? Drop you up. Yeah. Go with hoops. Where's the hoops? On the, on the that way. Yeah, where the hoops? As far as I can, man. It's my duty as an Uber driver and a cyber truck to make the most obnoxious turn possible and cause a little bit of a traffic jam. So, well, how's uh, the cars left to you guys, man? Too much work, bro. Tracks, bro. You should drop out. I'm going to be honest with you. That's what I'm saying. We're Indian. What can we do? Oh, you know, uh, listen, listen, bro. Listen. We on the way. We becoming doctors for no reason. You know what you should do instead of becoming a doctor, bro? You should be a trapper, nigga. I'm telling you, that's what it real money at. Like, I'm being honest with you. Like, you may be completely honest with you. This is a stolen vehicle. I mean, this is not even out. <laughs> he, he told her to be a trapper. <sighs> a trapper or a rapper. That's where the real money at. Uh, <laughs> a doctor get real money, man. Doctors get real money. And trappers, I mean, trappers are doctors, too. They just a hood doctor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They the hood out. They gonna prescribe you what you need, but just make sure you use it in moderation. It's just the same as the regular doctor. They're gonna describe you with what you need. It just make sure you use it in moderation. You know what I mean? It's literally the same thing. Yeah, right. Cause you go in there and you take ten pills and you probably won't wake up, right? Cause that's not moderation. You go in there and you smoke about ten blunts or you you got ten lines or something going on. You might not wake up or you might stay up for about a whole month. You know what I mean? It's different effects, right? But it's still the same thing, <laughs> right? This shit is stolen, bro. It's Literally the same stolen. thing. I stole it. Whoa, whoa, why do you say force? Whoa. One is just legal and one is not. Okay, in certain places. I'm going to make sure you know. Uh, this is the first I can go, so I'm going to see you how to trap real quick. $10. I don't got my wallet on me. Get out. You should have said cash out. Free Uber rides, come through. Free Uber, let's go. Bro, I'm going to a meeting. This nigga, this nigga went to a meeting. Bro, I'll be shaking my light skin. Wow, that's fucked up. <laughs> I am talking shit because your light skin, buddy. You have a problem with it? Wait, how'd you get a cyber truck? I stole it. That ice? Yeah, that well, You better than me, though. I'm not going to lie. I really, really, I, I, I swear. Take care, uh, Corbin Blue. Yeah. <laughs> Corbin Blue with the blue, the hoodie on. 
Do you get it? Yes. Yeah. No. Nice to meet you, man. Free Uber ride. That's how you know they don't know who Duke Dennis is. You can look at him and tell him they know Duke Dennis. <laughs> I know he's not one of those. You know how people think all black people look alike? Like, please don't start this. He's not even tall enough to be Duke Dennis. He has no grills. He has no chains. Like, what are you talking about right now? Uh, Davis, you got MP chain? You should. You should, for real. If you don't have one. Everybody else got one, right? I wonder if Davis got one. I think the whole team had got one, but I'm saying, like, why he don't... He don't ever wear it. It's 4.30 in the morning. I was supposed to be watching my nephews. They obviously supposed to be asleep. I just heard somebody cough. Just trying to make sure they're good. They good. You're supposed to be asleep. Let me go check on them just for a quick second. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even finna. You know what I'm saying? I don't do people like that. Let me check on this sure. He only coughed once. It wasn't like, uh, 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 like he finna die, but I just gotta make sure. That was that was sleepy cough. You know when you you did deep you in mid sleep and you have a little cough. Yeah, that's all that was. He good. He, he ain't tripping. He good. He down there. TV on. They down there. They good. They got covers on and stuff like that. They good. You know what I'm saying? They had their toys everywhere. They had to go down there and clean up damn toys everywhere. Man, I don't know why they don't be cleaning up the toys everywhere. You know the toys don't be. You're know, you supposed to be all on the damn floor, especially now when y'all ain't playing with them. You, know, you ain't playing with the toys. Gonna leave the toys all on the floor. Man, y'all better pick these toys up. Hey, every time every time they do that, I start throwing toys away. My family, we all do the same stuff. We see them, they not listening. There's certain toys where they not listening. We be like, all right. As soon as they go to sleep or they go to school, it's over with. They come back, they be like, where the toy at? We be like, it's gone. It's in the trash or it's gone. It left. It, it definitely walked up out of here. <laughs> you feel me? Anytime, for me, anytime they bring any type of guns, anytime they buy them type of for them, I, I take it and I throw it away. Because I don't even play that. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon form shall, shall prosper. That's what I believe. So at the end of the day, why do you need a weapon? It wouldn't make any sense. I don't even need a knife. A knife can't even cut through the, through this skin. You know what I mean? A knife can't cut through this kingdom. A bullet can't go through this. And and once you fortify your mind and fortify your body, you, you gonna understand what I'm talking about. Especially when we, with us knowing that it's a matrix, you gonna definitely understand what I'm talking about. But for those that don't know. They they scared, so they, of course they gon' they gonna get them some guns and some knives and and all this other stuff. Cause they scared. They got fear in their heart. They don't have God in their life for real. Just cause people say oh God and thank God don't don't mean they truly believe in God. You know what I'm saying? You'll know. Remember they say you'll know by the fruit, right? You know by the way they talk. You know by the way they think. You know by the words that they use. You, you you know someone that loves God truly, and someone who loves the world. It's a big difference, day and night difference. You will know. Hey, uh, thanks, man. Don't ever smile at me again. Hey, uh, we have a uh, Uber. Uber, come on. Get <laughs> he said, "Thanks, man. Don't ever smile at me again." <laughs> free Uber, free Uber. Get in. They all can't Uber, fit in there. Fuck no, we Forget it, man. Put him in the back. I, I put him in the back. I'm like, yo, just jump in the back. Like three of y'all, just jump in the back. Hold on. I have a camera and a cyber truck. What the hell? <laughs> you think I'm gonna kidnap you? Where are you going? Where the hell is that? Tell me about your life, man. Tell me about your life. Yeah, really? yeah. yeah. I'm a student here. This is cool. Flick up. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Flick up. Flick up on here, man. Hey, yo, it's white chocolate. Your name's white chocolate? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> There's no chocolate, my nigga. Like, the white chocolate. It's so, okay. That's real. That's real. He knows what's up. So, uh, how's life at uh, how's life at uh, the good old uh, college, man? College is ass. Why is college ass? I'd rather be working and making music. You know? Working, you make music. Mm. Can you uh, airdrop me a song? It's like indie shit. I don't know if I'm bro, I fuck with all types of music. All music, music bro. Me and you, come on, say your say truth, that. man. Say that. Say, that. say your truth. As a matter of fact, bro, we about to get some more people to vibe with this shit too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, airdrop it to me. I'm iPhone 141. If it's good, I'm finna go find it right now. I'm gonna download it. If it's good. And see how these opportunities come? He coming out of his school. He don't, he don't even know who this is. He don't know we all watching. We, shit, like I said, my iPhone right here. As soon as I find out the artist's name, as soon as I find out his artist's name, I hope it ain't white chocolate. But oh, it could be white chocolate. That would be kind of fire, I guess, you know, for you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me let me see if I can find it right now. This is what I'm saying. This is that support. 
I see somebody named White Chocolate. It's a song called Robbie Trip. Um, but I don't think this is him. Got a little kid on there. Let me see something real quick. Let me make sure. It might be him. Let me see. Nah, that's not him. <laughs> that's definitely not him. There's some other guy. He, he looked pretty cool too, but he looked short, right? He got chains on him. He got blonde hair. That's definitely not this guy. <laughs> you should be little white chocolate or something. <laughs> Literally, this is just for fun, man. No, no, I was just playing. Come on. Come on, get out. Hey, support my boy music. This shit fire. This shit fire. Hey, this shit fire, though. It kind of matches the vibe of the cyber truck, too. Like, yeah. Hey, 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 come check it out. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that. I, was, I like the beat. The beat definitely did nice the cyber truck. I couldn't hear the vocals that good, though. It sounded like you need a better mic. Bro. Anybody that does music, the most important part is the mic. The most important, I'm going to say it one more time. Between the beat and the mic. Because if the mic isn't good enough, it don't matter. You go in there and you be like, sit down. If the mic not good enough, people are not going to understand what you're saying. That's like when, when Gucci and Future and all of them first came out and they, they vocals sounded muddy. You know what I mean? As an engineer, I can hear stuff like that. The normal civilian, y'all can't hear stuff like that. Y'all just going by the numbers. Y'all like, the beat sound good. It got millions of views. We rock with it. You know what I'm saying? My homie, my friends, family, everybody rock with it. We rock with it. That's what y'all go by. But as an engineer, we can hear when it's too muddy. It's not enough brightness. When, when, when the vocal don't sound like water. You know what I mean? We can hear that. The, the mic that most people go for is the $10,000 mic. In, anywhere in between five to 10000 or more, right? Because of the quality, the quality will have the warmthness. It will it'd be crystal clear. Exactly what what I sound like, exactly what what you sound like is gonna is gonna give you that back, and that's what you want. So that way, when you throw the auto tune on there, and then when you throw the other little effects on there, boom, 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 compressors, EQs, everything, it come out exactly perfect. It come out like a Drake track. Come out like a Beyonce track. It come out perfect. So again, between that mic, you know what I mean. Of course, the speakers, because you got to hear the bass. You got to hear everything. You got to hear all the frequencies, right? Of course, the, of course, the audio box. The audio box is important because you want to make sure that whatever's coming in from that mic gets sent into the PC, into Pro Tools or whatever uh, software you use. You want to make sure that that gets in there in real timing. You don't want it to be off, right? I'm just letting y'all know a little bit of the clues, man. But Because uh, for this guy, I can hear his song, but... I can't hear his words that good. So in my head, that would tell me that the mic, it was it, it, it's something wrong with the mic. Go to a different studio. Pay for a big studio. If you got to pay, they, what, $60, $80 an hour, maybe $100 an hour. You got to pay three, dollars $400 for a couple of hours. Do that. But before you do that, make sure that before you go to that studio that you got four or five, six songs already written down. You already got the beat for it. You already got your little performance. You know, you know exactly how you're going to do it. So that way, when you do put that money down, you're able to get work done. Because a lot of people, they'll put that money down. They'll be in the studio just smoking, just brainstorming, but they won't get nothing done. They might get a song or two done, but they don't even like that song. You see where I'm going with it? So you want to make sure that the session is worth it. That little four hundred dollars, you made four songs. Them four hit. They could be four hit singles. It could be an EP right there. You know what I mean? And that can throw you a million. So your four hundred dollars just made you a million. You know what I mean? And that can happen every single day, especially as a music artist. You make hits every single day. It's that easy. It's like baking a cake. It's like going, I'm going downstairs. Let me make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The same thing. But we know some peanut butter and jelly sandwich taste good, and some don't. It's like making a grilled cheese. Some people grilled cheese be busting. And some people grilled cheese be disgusting. Some people's songs be hits and bangers. And some people's songs be like, man, turn that off. Right? So we can't lie. There's duality. It's always day and it's always night. You know what I'm saying? There's duality. So we ain't going to excuse that. Like I said, this dude, your song sounds good, but make sure that you use a good mic. Any studio you go to, make sure that they might actually cost at least at least a thousand, bro. If it don't cost a thousand, do not record on that mic. You're wasting your time. I'm telling you that right now, because what's going to happen is a label 
distribution, they're going to be like, yo, can you record that song in better quality? Can you re-record that song? We're going to bring you into the big studio. We're going to sign you, but we need you to re-record the song. This is what happens because artists come unprepared. They come with their tracks don't sound professional. I'm just letting you know because I've been in a lot of predicaments like that, even with myself. You know what I mean? Because sometimes the vocals just don't be right. And sometimes you just got to do it over. This is music. It's music tough. Tap in with it. You like the music? My boy. She wants you, nigga. She's tall, man. Oh. Too tall? That means your kid's going to be tall. That's the point. Oh, my gosh. You get somebody short, now all your, your sons are shorter than you. They midgets. Some of y'all don't even understand that. That sometimes the genes don't work how you think it's going to work. Your son, the girl height. Your son can't get no taller than 5'7". You like, dang, bro. I thought you was going to be 6'3 with me. I thought you was going to be hooping. Like, nah. Didn't even get it. <laughs> it's like, but if you go for a tall girl, she, let's say you 6'3", she's 6'5", 6'7". Your son come out 6'6". Shit, we winning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so it's like, sometimes, man, hey, man, y'all need to, sometimes we got to look, we just got to look at our standards and we really got to look at our standards and we got to kind of tweak them a little bit because the world is different, bro. It's different now, bro. We can't just keep doing that. Not not just us men, women too. They A lot of women only want tall guys, but there is women out here who be like, I like a short guy. I like a guy shorter than me. And I, I've heard it before. I'm tall, so. You know what I'm saying? I've heard it before, though. You know what I'm saying? I think that's pretty cool. That is women out there who are actually able to show love to the short man. I love that's pretty cool. For example, Kevin Hart. His girlfriend is way taller than him. Alright. And so it's like, it's people out here, bro. Cause I know y'all be like, nah, bro, nah, bro. So I gotta give y'all examples. Cause just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Let me take you this spot, man. Let me take you this spot. Me casa is you casa. You can you can whip this bitch if you need to, bro. But I'm serious, like, like we pretty much bros at this point. So like if you need it for any date nights, just let me know. You got my number. <laughs> man, Javi, I, I'm glad you got Okay, oh, oh, and this one is songs too? I wonder if this one is songs too. Miller Road, buddy. Listen, man, uh, Javi, I'm glad uh, I got you to your destination. Please give me five stars. I sincerely, sincerely, I mean sincerely. I got you. Hope you have a blessed day, man. Okay. Right? Appreciate it, bro. Keep up your music, bro. Y'all didn't ever give us the name, so we, we couldn't even search it up, bro. You got to put yourself on a little bit better than that, bro. That's the only part you was missing here. Like, you should have said, you know, I do music. My name is, you know, I release music. Uh, maybe he don't have no music release, y'all. Maybe it's not on Apple and Spotify. Like I said, I couldn't find him. Bro, if you need help getting on there, hit me up, bro. I'll tell you exactly how you get on there. Easily. And you can do it yourself. You don't need no label. So I'm saying you can do it yourself. I'll tell you exactly how to get your music up there. You may start making money tomorrow. <laughs> you heard me? You'll start making money tomorrow. Let me know. Anybody need to know how to get their music up independently as an artist and you want to make money tomorrow? You're trying to get your stuff into the NBA. You want your stuff on movies. You want your stuff on the NFL. You want to go to an NFL game. They playing your beats. They playing your music at halftime. Hit me up. I'll tell you exactly how to do it. It's easy. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, again, like I told y'all, man, they try to keep all these all the information and secret away from most of the indie artists because they want y'all to sign y'all little lot y'all want to sign y'all souls and lives away you know what i'm saying i ain't trying to sign nobody i don't want to sign nobody even if i had a label even if i'm part of a label i would not want to sign nobody i want y'all to start your own labels i'd rather teach you how to start your own label you know what i mean and eventually you know I want to give you the funds to start your own label you feel me i want to give you straight up a meal straight up just just because just because i believe in you I don't want nothing back. You feel me? That's that's the type of person I am. That's that real love that I I, I love to show to to the humans in general. You know what I'm saying? But only to people that know how to use the money. I'm not giving nobody no money if they don't know how to use the money. If I hit you up a month later and you ain't still got at least five hundred thousand, you don't spend <laughs> you don't spend eighty percent of the money. I'm no longer giving you money. You feel me? A month later, you should at least have a hundred thousand still in savings that you're not gonna touch. You know what I mean? Like you should have some in investments. You know what I mean? But if you ain't doing none of that, and I can't calculate the money, you know what I'm saying? And you just spending it just cause it's there. I'm not giving nobody. I am not giving that person no more money. You know what I'm saying? Cause at a million, you should be straight for the rest of life. There's plenty of ways to how to invest that to make that million turn into ten million and then turn to a hundred million. 
easily. You can put it into gold, and that shit gonna turn into two. It's gonna man, it's gonna it's man, it's gonna turn into man, it's gonna turn into passive income for the rest of your life, off of one million. So so there's easy ways to do this stuff, right? And that's and that's the main reason why. And since we at the end of the video, we can talk about this. That's the main reason why most of the rich get richer, right? It's like when y'all watching Kai and how he, him and uh, Aiden and them, how they buy their friends cars and stuff. The rich get richer. Right? But again, you ain't going to go to your homie from high school and um, just, just give him a million dollars. Not Most people ain't just going to do that. Unless it's really like they day one. For example, like Duke and um, Davo. Uh, Duke and uh, I don't think his name Davo. Uh, something like that. I can't. Sorry, bro. I can't remember your name right now. But yeah, like I'm pretty sure if 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 Brody needed something, Duke is gonna take care of that. And that's 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 real. That's a real. You know what I mean? And vice versa, he would do it for him. But sometimes we we know we got some people that we can't just get money to, bro. We know they can't handle it. We know they're gonna use it for the wrong things, man. And I I, I personally like um. I thought I could handle money. <laughs> I was mistaken. I can handle it now. But I used to couldn't handle money. As soon as I got a hundred dollars, I'm all, I spent it within that day. As soon as I got a thousand, it was gone within within that day. Within that week, it was definitely gone. I'm seeing all different kinds of stuff to eat that I don't even normally eat. And I'm I'm trying to buy it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to buy six pairs of shoes. I'm like, man, I'm trying to give me a couple pairs of shoes. Man, I'm trying to get three or four pairs. I'm trying to give me some. I need some white shoes, black shoes, yellow shoes, red shoes, blue shoes. You know what I mean? Like, and the thing about it is, that's all. It's part of manipulation. That's part of being part of the matrix. That's what I was talking about earlier. That's why I said we have the end of the video so I can give y'all this information. That's being part of the matrix. If you want to become a billionaire, you gonna you gonna like like how Elon Musk would. You have your suit and tie, but we got like eight of those of the same color. We just switch them out. Eight of those. So the whole week I got suit and tie on. You thought I had the same outfit on, but I've been, you know what I mean? I don't switch it up. I just I just got I just got multiple of them. You know what I mean? And it go, I got I got 20. I got 20 white t-shirts, 20 white suit shirts, got 20, 20, 20, uh, look, look, look at what I got on now. I got on golden goose. I might have 10 of these. Might be 10 all just in white and black. Just so every day I could turn on, I could put on my white and black golden goose. They like they like he he wearing the same pants. I, I'm I'm actually not. <laughs> I'm actually not. I just got multiple pairs of these. You see what I'm saying? Like, and it's just because it's 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 the the quality. It's the quality. Once you understand quality, you don't think of stuff as designer. You're not like oh I'm buying this because it's designer. No, you're buying it for quality. I can go right now, I literally, in these white pants, I can go get on the ground and roll around. And I promise you, if you got some white pants that's not quality, you're going to roll around in that same dirt. We both, we can, we can wash it up the same way, and I bet you my pants is going to come out cleaner. It's to go with the same with the black. This barely catches any type of lint. This has thermal under it. And what is this? This is Billionaire Boys, right? Designer, right? quality right it's thick compared to someone with a normal sweater on they still cold they like man i got a sweater on. i'm still cold i'm chilly he's got thermal on the inside i ain't i ain't feeling nothing <laughs> the wind ain't getting through this quality you know what i mean quality over quantity they they gotta put three sweaters on just to feel what i'm feeling with one you see the, it's big difference this, I, man, probably, man, I'll probably wash 200 times and it ain't going to change the color. Compared to, again, a regular sweater, man, you put that thing in there five times and you already about to throw it away. It don't shrunk and all. I know I'm only telling y'all about this because a lot of y'all don't understand quality. Y'all just think people out here just spending big money on designer for nothing. It's not for nothing, I promise you. It's definitely not for nothing. For those that know, it's, it's, it. It it the, the the actual cotton is more real. You know what I mean? It's real. It feel better. It don't. You know how sometimes you have. And this is back in the day. You have a a tag or something, and now you gotta you gotta rip the tag off because it's kind of itching your neck. You ain't getting that in, in some designer. You not ripping the tag off. That shit ain't itching your neck. 
You feel me? It ain't that ain't happening, right? Cause it's quality. Quality over quantity. Quality people over quantity. It's okay. It's okay if a million people don't like you. Guess what? It's seven billion people that do. You hear what I'm saying? It's okay. A hundred million people don't like you. Guess what? It's still seven billion more people that do like you. You understand how big that number is? Huh? Quality over quantity. Good video, though. <laughs> white chocolate out. Man, if you're going to do white chocolate, uh, where you from, bro? Do ATX white chocolate. White uh, uh, white chocolate from ATX. Uh, white chocolate from TX, uh, Texas. Um, uh, Texas white chocolate. You know what I mean? Just to put... So that way, when I search it... I mean, you're going to pop up. Like I said, there's only two people that popped up for white chocolate. It's you and this other person. It says... I don't know who this person is, but so you'll be the third. But if I type in white chocolate, you should be the third person. And I'm, I'm trying to get him to understand how rare that is. That's rare, right? Which means when people type in your name, they're going to find it. That is a good thing. That's like Google search ads. That means when people type in Kassanet, they type in Duke Dennis, they type in I, I'm Davis. Guess what pops up? They do. Nobody else pops up, right? That, that means you're number one on the search, which means when they search for white chocolate, they gonna find you. They gonna find the songs and they gonna play it. But again, if you never release the song, it's like dang. It's like why you ain't even release the song, bro? It says right here his song, Savior by who? Let me see. We gonna we gonna check this out. Let me see. Is this his song or is this is somebody else's song right here? Cause that's that's not the name he gave us. You see what I'm saying? Is that him? His name is J Javikin. X is that is that what I'm am I saying that right y'all? I'm on Apple Music, bro. I can't find the song, bro. I just typed in Savior with two R's at the end, and I don't even see it. See what I'm saying? If you if if it's on Apple, if on Spotify, I should be able to see it. Let me see if I can find it. Javikin X. I got Javikin X though. Okay. Um, I see Savior single. Okay, we got it, we got it. Okay, it's here. Let me see, is this that same guy? I think this is him. I think we might have found... Then why he said white chocolate? Where'd you get that from? You at least could have said J Javikin X space white chocolate. You see what I'm saying? Like, how are we supposed to find you off of white chocolate if that's not the name? This the dude right here with the... With the he got the fro. That's him, ain't it that him? I think that's him right there. But, but you ain't say that. You lucky Davis plugged you in. <laughs> Cause I, I'm gonna download your music for sure. I got you right now, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna download it right now. I got you right now. I see this wait, this say a rock song. This other one, it says sounds. Oh, so you do multiple uh this dude part it's a part of uh you say records DK. What's that about? You got a label you got a label or something? Let me see something, man. Or they just put that they put that in once you started uploading stuff. But sometimes they'll do that just to fill in all the information. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Like I said, because you need these labels to see that you're not part of a label. That way you can join one. Yeah, they said rec record records DK 2023 something. It's not, that, that's like, okay, that's totally fine. All right. And then I like these cover arts. Um, women and um, they got robes on and stuff like, not robes. They got a... Uh, <laughs> They got the little cloth clothing on and stuff like man. Let me make this a little bit bigger so we can promote this dude, bro. And Davis, thanks for the video, bro. We got you already, Davis. You 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 already big, man. We we helping this guy out, bro. Like I said, we support around here. But y'all see, he got some he got some stuff up there. So y'all look him up for sure. Like I said, this is what you are gonna see when you see him. When oh, wait, when you find him, you gonna this this matter of fact. Let me go ahead and put that star. Let's see, he a star artist. But this is what you gonna find. So y'all look him up, man. Check him out. Like I said, I seen it was a song. It said rock. This song right here, rock. And then I was trying to see what, what this dancer song, what the dancer song say. Let's hear it.
Okay, 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 okay. I can, I see where you're going. I see where he's going with it. It definitely sounds like the dream. The weekend. You know what I'm saying? Between both of them. The dream, the weekend, you know what I mean? It got that soft little it got a little Michael Jackson tone in it too. It could it could, it could hit that Michael Jackson. It seems like you can you can you, okay. Hey, he definitely gonna be going somewhere in life. Like I said, I can hear how young he is. So you can like you can hear it. You can hear how he not fully confident in himself. That's because he obviously not an industry artist, right? Once you become an industry artist and you got millions in your bank, you got chains, you on drove in all these cars, you don't have all these fans yelling your name. Trust me, the way you say your raps, the, the confidence that you pursue out of your mouth, it changes. And that's what I was saying about Davis and his Riz. He ain't talked to that many women. You can tell. <laughs> you feel me? But once he do, or once he, you know, just taps in to, to morph his fans and being, being, being able to talk to more people, you know what I mean, with, with his videos and doing interactive stuff just like he did here, you're going to notice how he even changes his, you know what I mean, his approach and things of that nature, right? So that's what it's all about. You got to actually put the work in, though. And we can always tell if you put the work in or not. We can tell if you can talk to women or not. We can just, we can tell. We can look at you and tell. We can tell how you're dressed. We can tell how you smell. We can tell how you look. You, you tripping up, your shoes are untied, man. You ain't talking to no women. That's why I was saying, what kind of jeans this man got on? I'm looking at this man jeans. They stupid baggy. I understand the baggy jeans, but then it was just like you had black on with blue jeans. In my head, I'm saying, and I'm telling you, it, and it's totally fine. You can wear what you want to wear, but if a girl look at you, she like, ugh. I'm telling you that right now, cause you ain't you ain't you ain't walking like young boy. You ain't with all black, black from the top to the, you know what I'm saying. You ain't doing that. You got blue jeans on. She like ooh. She if if if, if anything, she like ooh. I'm about to style this man. She gonna sun you like, and that's the reason why people like Davis get sunned. That's the main reason because you're not putting that shit on like you think you is. You see what I'm saying? That's the reason why people sun you. That's the reason why people disrespect you and they treat you the way they did. You know what I'm saying? When as when you know when y'all was first coming up, that's the reason why Duke and all of them treated you that way. It's because we be looking at you, we can literally look at you, and we're gonna sun you because we can see that you ain't got it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can see that you trying, but it ain't there yet, right? But when it get there, when that confidence get there, and we see, it, we can feel it, we can smell it coming off. We like, man, but that boy Dave is confident. You confident on that basketball court though? But you need to be confident on every other part of your life, too. You feel where I'm going? And it ain't nothing against Davis, y'all. This is just me in general talking about people, okay? That we can tell. We can tell. Men and women, can, we can look at you and tell if you about it or if you ain't about it. We can hear it in your voice. If you've been through it or if you ain't been through nothing before. Trust me. So what I'm saying is stop faking stuff out here, y'all. Stop faking stuff. Just be you and be real, though. All right, because a lot, a lot of stuff Davis do, I don't even think it's him. I, all I see is uh, a Kanye wannabe, and but that's not in my head. That's like it, it makes me not want to go. You know what I'm saying? Not want to go th through through his videos and stuff because it's like he's not being genuine. I want to see who Davis is for sure. You know what I'm saying? Who is I'm Davis, man? Who who is Davis, man? Who is that? I don't want to look at Davis and be like, he look like a little younger Kanye. I don't want to. Ain't nothing wrong with Kanye neither. I'm just saying in general, when I look at Davis, I want to see Davis. When I look at Beyonce, I want to see Beyonce. When I look at Cola Ray, I want to see Cola Ray. I don't want to look at one person and see another person. I want everybody to be original. I'm tired of people trying to be other people. I'm tired of people trying to copy other people's style. I want to see originality. If this man was more original, trust me, people wouldn't throw him under the bus because he's original. There's no way we could throw somebody under the bus that's original. That's like a zebra. A zebra come with all different types of colors and spots and all that different stuff. If it came out with blue, pink, orange, I said if. If it came out with blue, pink, orange, all that stuff, man, they wouldn't throw that zebra under the bus. Under the bus, They're going to put that zebra out in the spotlight because everybody got to see this zebra. Look at this damn zebra with all these damn colors on that shit. That's the difference. That's the difference, man. Anyways, see y'all in the next one, man. Like I said, man, it was a good video, man. Make sure y'all check out uh, this guy named Javikin. I guess we said that, right? All right, y'all, we out. Peace.